I couldn't find a transformer calculator that would work on Windows 7, so I was forced to make one using my trusty Macromedia MX, which I bought in 2002 and haven't used for 89 years. Luckily, it worked just fine on Windows 7 and the calculator took me about a week to make. Download it from the address below and create a shortcut using right mouse click, then you're good to go. If you are using an MOT, then it's best to check its performance characteristics. They do vary. Simply wind 10 or more turns around the secondary and measure the output voltage. I use surplus wire that I can use many times over. Enter the measured voltage and adjust the up-down arrows until it equals the number of turns. Don't forget to enter the correct input voltage, frequency and core width and depth. Now you can do a proper calculation. Measure the whole width and height and enter. I've entered 20 volts which gives me 16.8 amps. Check the wire information and decide which is best for your application. I went for 3.5 millimeter. If you want to use near capacity output for long periods, it's best to go for heavy duty use, wire thickness to prevent overheating. The light duty sizes are for normal use. Enter your choice, the display will show if it will fit. If you know how many primary turns you have, then you can enter the core dimensions and adjust the arrows to match the primary turns. If you want to use stranded wire, remember this has a melting temperature of around 70 C and it cannot carry as much current as solid wire. See the chart. But for some applications where high amps are needed for a short time, this is ideal wire. If you wish to enter your own dimensions, then put the counter down to zero and put the wire width in, complete with insulation. 